why not doing it all and saying I should be doing more is still success. If you're coming in, give me a hello. If you're on replay, let me know on, your re on replay. So I was having a chat with someone yesterday, so I just thought I'd drop in and speak about this. So I should be doing more. Have I said that before? Let me know in the comments. Why? I'm not sure I can make the most of it. I'm not doing it all. I should be doing more. All these things that come up. And she started talking, yeah, I should have done this workout. I wanted to do that work. I really wanted to make the most of that. I can't make a Q&A tonight, Matt. All these things coming in. So I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, we went to the end of the conversation, three pounds down, but most importantly, really stressful time at work, and I would normally have just like been not eating properly. I'd just come back, been eating my eating my meal, good portions, and I've and I've done well. And it was like, okay, normally what, you, what would you have done? It's important to look back at that gap, the gap and the in the past where you are here. That's the past, present, future. In that gap behind you, we don't look back enough. So what would you have normally done? And you can take a lot of confidence from this moment. What would you have normally done in that situation? Well, I'd probably just not, I'd just already just snapped, binge ate, not really been bothered about anything then because I can't do that training, because I can't do that exercise workout now that I said I'd have done, that I'd have done in the past. I've done week one, but I'm not doing it now. I'd have given up. And then we would do anything to get back to where we were right now, where we said we're not doing it all. I'll say that again. So the reason why not doing it all and wanting to do more is actually a success is because if you believe that you should be doing more, that means you want to do more, which is great. That means you it's important to you. And if you didn't believe that, then you probably wouldn't have the motivation to do anything. That's point one. Point two, if you gave up now, give a few weeks, months, you'd do anything to get to where you are now, right now, in the moment where you're saying, I should be doing more, I'm not taking advantage, I'm not doing it all. So just consider that and why that is actually success. We just need to look back sometimes and think, what would I normally have done? What would I have done years ago? What would I have done months ago? What would I have done days ago? What am I doing differently now? And then, okay, how do I get to where I am, to where I am then, where I want to be? Pick one thing today that I'm going to control. Water, protein, whatever that is. Anyway, come to my free talk tomorrow, Wednesday, 8 p.m., on gut health, how to improve your gut health and ditch the bloating. 8 p.m. If you want more information on that, comment below of gut health and I'll see you there. Anyway, uh, have an awesome Tuesday and I'll see you soon. Take care.